okay? Do you listen to me well? My voice is a little bit off because yesterday I was having so much fun talking to all of you, so I'm sorry for that. Um, yeah, I'm Elena and I'm working on the team that is building the new render engine and I'm going to be talking about it today. So one year ago, we published this blog, uh, this blog post um, and we said that it's time for Pempop to move away almost uh, from the DOM. And long story short, right now our render is an SVE render, right? Which is a standard, it works great, but in terms of performance, it doesn't scale that well. So that's why we needed to think of a different solution that, work, that works faster. So I'm going to get a little bit techy on this. I'm going to, to talk to you about the technologies that we are using. We decided to use the Skia library, which is a 2D graphics open source library that is widely used uh, for uh, well, in many projects such as uh, Chrome, Android, Flutter, and LibreOffice as well, if I uh, remember correctly. So that's why we chose it, because it had like anything that we needed, so we didn't have to reinvent the wheel. And, and yeah, and the project is very mature. And we are also using WebAssembly, which is like a low level like assembly uh, language. And it runs, mm, let's say, like near native performance directly on the browser. So it works like this. We can use directly the Skia functions that we are using for rendering different shapes directly from the uh, browser through WebAssembly super fast. OK. So what, um, what has this um, uh, helped us to do? Well, basically right now, our rendering system relies on, um, let's say, cached images when it comes to fixed performance bottlenecks. So that uh, we are not going to need that anymore because we have built our own tile system, which um, is developed directly in, within the render. So we don't have to like rely on external stuff for caching uh, and for improving performance. And it has um, unlocked many things. So we have a couple of videos to um, compare in this case, um, how the performance has improved. I don't know if we can like see the videos, but in any case, if we take a look, yeah, here it is. So this is um, the current render. So you can see that the quality of the image is not like super great. The frames per second I like are like a bit mm, bumpy. So um, with the current one, if we take a look at it, we are going to see that it, not, it is not only like, uh, you know, you can see that it has a better quality. It's way smoother. It works uh, faster as well. So um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay. Of course, a lot of you um, have been asked about bugs or issues that we had. So what we are doing is to fix them directly in the new render. So like, I don't know, shadows clipping and mm, some stuff that we can, that, like, it makes no sense to fix it in the current render since we are developing an, uh, a new one. So we are including them directly there. And um, I'm quite proud of this one because, you know, I love emoji. <laughs> I think that most of us love emoji. And, you know, text rendering <laughs> is hard. So um, if you see those uh, images, um, we can see that the, uh, the font that we are using is different. That is because our current render relies on the font fallback from the browser directly. So when you yeah, use Pempot on different operating systems, what happens is that you are going to see probably different stuff. And we wanted to unify that. So that's why we have implemented our own font fallback. And it also means that although we are now using a default emoji font, you can uh, upload your own font and, and use it directly, which is uh, kind of cool. And it also means that this is not longer going to happen <laughs> because if you have uh, tried to export um, files with emoji or with other symbols, that might happen because right now we are using a um, headless browser to render in those kind of exports, which is also like a common way uh, right now to do that kind of things. But now, since we are already using a Skia, which exports um, also uh, different um, image uh, formats and so on, we can use that for exporting images. So you're not going to see that anymore, and you will always be exporting the same. And uh, this means that we can also start adding 
more features to what we have. So we have a little video as well because um, one of the demanded features that we had was uh, text to path. So you can like directly build your own icons on Pempot. So <laughs> yeah, I guess there's some excitement here. And Yeah, and we will bring also the so demanded background blur uh, filter as well. <laughs> so, well, does it mean that uh, there's anything that is going to change? Well, actually, no, because we are keeping our core values, right? So you will be able to export your code just like we are doing right now. So the new render, it, it only affects visuals and the way you work with the, with the application. Nothing else, everything is going to be the same. You can still export into a SVG. So we are being consistent. We are going to use the same data model. It doesn't affect uh, our APIs or whatever. So yeah, don't worry about that. And you may be wondering, OK, so what's next? So the team is working hard on a lot of stuff, like, for example, integrating the text editor within the new render. But we can announce you that in the upcoming weeks, we are going to publish a public beta version. So you can all uh, test it out. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you very much.